News Defense. Philippine Army exercise on deploying its combat engineering equipment, you can see one of the Narenko GQL-111 vehicle mounted bridge. Notice that the vehicle is deploying a third span, but there is already indication that there are two more spans already deployed earlier, which means the Philippine Army may have at least three of these Chinese donated Narenko GQL-111 vehicle mounted bridge. The arch of the span also indicate that the third span isn't the last one, and that a fourth span might be needed to have the same slope as the left side of the rapid deployment bridge. Thus it is possible that a fourth GQL-111 could be in Philippine Army service. China has donated military equipment to Peru including medical and engineer equipment including a few numbers of GQL-111 of truck-mounted bridge layer systems. During a ceremony held in the headquarter of the Peruvian Army, Peruvian Defense Minister Jorge Nieto and the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Peru, Ja Guide, signed two cooperation protocols in defense. The GQL-111 is also in service with the Chinese Army. The GQL-111 is a scissors-type bridge that is transported and launched over the rear of an 8x8 cross-country truck chassis. This is conceptually similar to the Russian TMM-6 heavy bridge building system. One section can be used to span a gap of up to 15 meters, and a complete set of five can span a gap of 75 meters. The GQL-111 can be used to span wet and dry gaps, with each scissors bridge having an adjustable leg that can be extended to 5.5 meters below. It can also be used with pontoons to enable wider rivers to be crossed. According to the Chinese defense industry, the GQL-111 bridge can handle tracked AFVs, armored fighting vehicles, up to 50 tons and wheeled vehicles with a maximum axle weight of 13 tons. A later version is also referred to as the 60T modified heavy mechanized bridge, its capacity increased to 60 tons.